hello friends welcome to the channel in today's class we are going to learn effect of various drugs on blood pressure part 3 that is nicotinic response of acetylcholine acetylcholine is cholinergic neurotransmitter or parasympathetic neurotransmitter secreted by all the preganglionic fibers whether it is sympathetic or parasympathetic as well as cholinergic postganglionic fibers its action is on two type of receptor, muscarinic M or nicotinic N type of receptor. Muscarinic receptors are again subdivided into M1 up to M5 and nicotinic receptors are of two type NN present on the ganglia and NM present on the neuromuscular junctions. Now we will see effect of acetylcholine on blood pressure. When we administer acetylcholine to the anesthetized animal, we will get a fall in the blood pressure. This fall is because of the stimulation of inhibitory M2 receptor present on the heart. When we activate or stimulate this M2 receptor there will be decrease in the force of contraction and decrease in the heart rate. That will lead to fall in the cardiac output and that ultimately result into fall in the blood pressure. Now when we administer atropine which is the muscarinic receptor blocker does not affect the blood pressure. But after administration of atropine when we repeat the same dose or same amount of acetylcholine there will be no change in the blood pressure and this is because of the blockade of muscarinic M2 receptor that was responsible earlier for fall in the blood pressure. Now after that when we administer high dose of acetylcholine we will get a rise in the blood pressure. This is called nicotinic action of acetylcholine because after blocking muscarinic receptor when we administer high dose of acetylcholine it will stimulate the NN type of receptor present in the ganglia. So these receptors are present in the sympathetic ganglia as well as the parasympathetic ganglia. Stimulation of sympathetic ganglia will lead to increase in the sympathetic output and that will lead to increase in the noradrenaline release. Plus, same phenomena is responsible for release of adrenaline from adrenal medulla. This is also responsible for rise in the blood pressure after giving high dose of acetylcholine. So, nicotinic action of acetylcholine is due to two two uh, reasons first is stimulation of sympathetic ganglia that increases the noradrenaline release and direct stimulation of adrenal medulla that releases adrenaline this both will lead to rise in the blood pressure same thing we can perform with the help of x farm software in that you have to select the third option over here that is reversal action of acetylcholine on blood pressure and then you can perform the experiment by just clicking on inject the drug because the drug will be selected automatically. You can see our first drug is the low dose of acetylcholine when we administered acetylcholine we will get a fall because of the M2 stimulation on the heart. After that when we give atropine there will be no change in the blood pressure and after giving atropine when we repeat acetylcholine there will be no change in the blood pressure as the muscarinic receptor are blocked by atropine but after that when we inject high dose of acetylcholine we will get a rise in the blood pressure and this rise is because of the stimulation of nicotinic uh, receptors that will lead to increased sympathetic outflow and there will be increase in the blood pressure. So this is called the nicotinic response of acetylcholine. I hope you can understand this important phenomena and if you want such explanatory videos you can comment in the 
in this in the uh, comment box and encourage for the further videos thank you